Thank you, Lexi. We are getting into that time of year when it is really cold and it's easy to fall into the winter blues. In this week's Minute with Drexel, News 5's Drexel Gilbert wants to help you fight through those cold weather blues by sharing some of her strategies, which include singing. Hey, y'all. Cold enough for you? You know, I have to confess, I'm kind of prone to the winter blues. First of all, I don't like to be cold. Secondly, it seems like we've entered into this kind of a weather wasteland. You know, the prettiness of December is gone and the beauty of spring, gosh, it just seems so far away. Well, you know, sometimes the winter blues can go beyond the temperature outside. That cold feeling can seep into our thoughts and into our spirit and can kind of ice us over if we're not careful. So what do you do to fight the winter blues? I turn to books or to writing, to my faith, and even to music. I read inspirational words by people like Corey Ten Boom and Mother Teresa, both of whom weathered a lot of winters in their life. I also write my own words of what I hope are encouragement for you. I turn to my faith and I pray. I pray with the spirit of gratitude for whatever day God decides to gift me with, even if it's a cold and dreary day. And I sing. Not very well, mind you. But singing kind of takes my mind off, I don't know, the dreariness of the moment and the weather and also lifts my spirit into a sunnier and warmer place. One of my favorite things to sing is a hymn by Natalie Sleeth. It's called Hymn of Promise, and my favorite lines come in the first stanza. In the cold and snow of winter, there's a spring that waits to be unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. If you are cold on this day, not just in your body, but in your spirit, I encourage you to hold on. Winter won't last forever. Spring is coming. Sing it with me. There's a spring that waits to be. It's on the way. God can see it, even if you can't right now. And that's your Minute with Drexel.